Hey, Lemon Nerds! I just ate lunch, so I'm gonna try not to burp or fall asleep during this video because it's really good. I had macaroni and cheese with a little ground up turkey in it. So good. And it had corn in it because corn is my absolute favorite vegetable. I love corn, corn cob, sweet corn, regular corn. I love corn. Today, I'm going to be doing a book review on Dark Diaries, Tales from a Not-So-Secret Crush Catastrophe. Before I get into that, I'm going to tell you how I decide if I can tell someone my juicy secrets. If they're the kind of person that likes to talk a lot, they might not be the one to trust. Somebody who talks a lot needs something to talk about. Talking a lot might not always be a bad thing, but if they're just rambling off and they need something to say, they could be telling people about your secrets. If you know that the person knows a lot of secrets, but you don't know what they are, then you know that they're trustworthy because you see people telling them the secrets, but you don't know what the secrets are because they're not telling anybody. You just know that they know a lot of things. They're like a nice vault to lock your secrets in. Those are the kind of people you can trust. One way you can bust people telling your secret is to give them a test. So here's how you make a secret test. First, you make up a random secret that isn't true and couldn't be made into a big disaster that people think that it's true once they do tell them. It has to be a secret that is kind of a small secret, which makes them think that they can tell anybody they want, but they can't. Let's say I told person A that I was going to make up a secret about them and tell person B. I would tell person A to try to get the secret out of person B. I'm wearing this totally lol shirt because Dark Diaries is a really funny series and I have this rainbow hearts bracelet because it matches the cover of the book. So I have my own little Dork Diaries bracelet that I actually got when I was like five. Who knew it would come in handy? Now I can do my book review of Dork Diaries Tales from a Not So Secret Crush Catastrophe by Rachel Renee Russell. I really love this book. This book was about Nikki's crush, Brandon. Nikki volunteers to be a student ambassador for a student visiting from France. And at first she thinks that it's a girl named Andrea, and she accidentally tells him some pretty embarrassing stuff. But it turns out his name is Andre. And it's a guy. So she was embarrassed. She has to spend all this time with him during the few weeks that he's there and Brandon starts to get jealous. That's why on the back it says, what do you do when you accidentally crush your crush? Because everyone thinks that Nikki and Andre are going to this book, I love the Dark Diaries series because they're always so intriguing because sometimes they're catastrophic. One thing after another goes wrong and in the end, it's always some impossibly awesome solution that I would have never thought of. I have read a lot of these books, but I never actually read them in story order because they're really hard to get. You can get them at a bookstore or on Amazon that you can get in the link below or you can get it at the library. But the reason why you don't read them in story order is because people always check them out at the library and you're gonna have to take what you can get. I have previously reviewed Dork Diaries Tales from a Not So Happy Heartbreaker, which you can go back and look at because I really love this book. That's why I read this series because it's so good. I recommend all the Dork Diaries books for 8 to 12 and the next book that I will be revealing is Ellen Tebbets by Beverly Cleary. Make sure you like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of my other library haul book reviews. So, you might have noticed that my hair has gotten significantly longer since my last video. Well, this is not actually my hair as you may have guessed well this part is my hair so when people ask me is that your real hair yeah it's my real hair i got that store i bought it i have a receipt in case you want to prove ownership but i am loving my long luscious fake locks 
So that's all for today. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss any of my other fun book reviews. Bye!